The next speaker on my list is His Excellency, Mr. Mohammed Al Hamzawi, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Morocco. Ambassador, you have the floor. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are discussing today on uh, a topic of extreme importance, i.e., the settlement policy. We know that settlements, as everybody knows, are a major obstacle uh, to peace in the Middle East. Yes, since the uh, halt in the negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians in April uh, last year, the Israeli government continues with its settlement policy, which is detri severely detrimental to the legitimate and inalienable rights of the Palestinian people as recognized by the international community in various decisions and resolutions since 1947. The Israeli settlements have been built in uh, uh, the West Bank and uh, East Jerusalem, and uh, the building of the infrastructure related to these uh, settlements cover over 40 percent of the surface area of the West Bank. Today, there are settlements which are for housing, uh, uh, others for uh, which are considered industrial zones, and others which are uh, military bases. Uh, the uh, proportion of these settlements, uh, uh, these settlements account for over 40 percent of the land, uh, according to statistics last year, and this it is the highest uh, percentage since 10 years. Uh, the losses that, uh, uh, because of these. Uh, settlements are tremendous, and especially that Israel is tightening its grip on the Palestinian uh, economy, and imp Israel is uh, imposing restrictions on the, the Palestinian uh, right to free movement and confiscating their natural, na natural resources and uh, uh, jeopardizing any uh, job opportunities for the pa Palestinians. Uh, Israeli uh, activities are aimed at reducing any uh, economic potential in uh, uh, the Jordan Valley. Israel is tightening its grip on the uh, uh, important resources such as land and water. Uh, settlement policy is endangering the very social fabric of the Palestinian people. The uh, settlers are uh, uh, armed uh, to their teeth and are given a free hand to uh, launch their attacks against the Palestinians. Mr. Uh, President, ladies and uh, gentlemen, like the majority uh, uh, of states in the world and the Kingdom of Morocco, whose uh, king is the president of the Committee on Jerusalem, is uh, determined to participate in all initiatives aimed at finding a just solution to the Palestinian people and at enabling the Palestinians to realize its right to uh, freedom and independence. This will not happen without completely hold, halting the, uh, poli the building of settlements in the uh, occupied Palestinian land. Morocco considers that the question of East Jerusalem is the core uh, cause in uh, the Islamic and the Arab uh, world and is at the uh, heart of the conflict in the Middle East. Therefore, we call on the international community to confront all Israeli at attempts aimed at change, altering the physical, cultural, legal, and uh, religious character of the city. This will, uh, unfortunately, these activities will indulge the entire area in a very dangerous religious uh, conflict. Since six, 1969, there have been resolutions by the international community uh, which have condemned the uh, building of settlements. Such These resolutions are the General Assembly Resolution 3236 of 1947, which, have, which has uh, stressed the rights of the uh, the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people. 
uh, the United Nations Security Council resolution 446 of 1979 has uh, considered all these activities related, uh, all these settlement related activities in uh, the occupied territories since 1967 are a uh, major uh, obstacle to uh, uh, lasting and comprehensive peace in the Middle East. United Nations Security Council Resolution 452 of 1979, which has called Israel to immediately put an end to the planning and building of settlements in the occupied Arab territory since 1967, including East Jerusalem. There is also the advisory opinion of the ICJ of the of 2004, which considered all settlement settlement building in the occupied Palestinian right uh, territories, including East Jerusalem, as illegal and constitute an obstacle to uh, peace, uh, economic and social development, are considered a violation of international law. Set Israeli settlement activities are a gross violation of internationally recognized human rights as well as a violation of international uh, covenants, international humanitarian law, as well as Article 55 of the Hague Regulations and uh, the Fourth Geneva Convention. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the evacuation of settlements and uh, the cessation of building new ones, new ones, and a complete halt in the settlement policy will practically provide the opportunity to revive the peace process between the Palestinians and the Israelis on the basis of the two-state solution. This will lead to the uh, building of a independent Palestinian state with full sovereignty on the borders of the 4th of uh, June 1967, including East, uh, with East Jerusalem as capital. Yes, uh, the settlement policy is a, a major threat to peace. Israel should choose between peace and between con its continuation to build uh, settlements which will jeopardize this uh, the two-state solution and which, which indulge the whole region into more agitation and uh, tension. Thank you.